Hey guys. Um, just as a heads up, I am going to have to bounce to do a party. Um, but I'm going to be leaving you in awesome hands. We love you, Lucy. Dude, I am, huh. Today, today was not my day. I'm trying to place this big order and um, I couldn't get it to go through. And so I got out of it and then I went back into it and it tripled. Oh Hello, God. she's here. Hey girl. Hey, did you already have your party? No, not yet. So I was like, I'm going to hop on for a couple minutes and say hi and see Monique's pretty face and then leave everybody in super capable hands. Aw, thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Lucy, for having me on here. I appreciate you tremendously. I'm so excited. Are y'all stoked? Yes. Yes. I'm like, wake the fuck up, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so freaking awake. I have been nonstop. Like, I ended up like on no caffeine Lucy style. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey, that's how I roll all the time, guys. Hey Lucy, before you pop off, you need to go ahead and get um, you need to go ahead and snap a photo, girlfriend. Yes, yes I do. All right, everybody okay. ready? Everybody. One, two, three. Got it. Got it. Cool. All righty. So we're gonna get this ball rolling. Let me just go ahead and click to share into y'all's team page. So give me one second. You know, it takes a few minutes to go ahead and share, so just kind of bear with me. All right. I love the way y'all show up, though, man. Way to bring it. <laughs> Lucy's team does not let you down. That's right. I, I can imagine that y'all are absolutely incredible. Let's see. I'm just going to make sure that it is appearing in y'all's team page real quick. Okay. Let's see. All right. Hopefully it's doing its thing because, you know, sometimes Zoom and Facebook don't want to talk. But... We'll make them. Right. Let's see. Lucy, can you see it in your team page? I'm checking. There it is. Got it. Okay. We're golden. Awesome. All right, ladies. I'm back with y'all. Okay. So, hi. I'm super, super stoked to be with all of you ladies. My name is Monique McGuire, and I've been on the board of directors for eight and a half years. And, oh, my goodness, I love that San Francisco background, girl. Yes, I wish I was in San Francisco right now. Um, not traveling is killing me because I'm always traveling, so it's driving me bananas. So tonight I'm here to talk to you about how to book some parties, virtual parties and in-home parties. And I know some of y'all are new, and then I know some of y'all are very seasoned. So I'm just stoked to be with all of you at all levels, and um, of course, with the amazing Lucy. So here's what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get parties. Um, like Lucy said, I do about six to eight parties a month. And um, I roll with, you know, anywhere between 150 to 193,000. And I'm only doing, you know, five to six, sometimes eight parties a month. I'm not the girl who's out there doing a ton of parties, but, um, and my parties are typically only six to eight people. Okay, so very, very um, small, intimate groups, but you know what? I'm their consultant for life, and that is something that I really strive and focus on. So we're going to talk about booking parties when you have no parties. We're going to talk about booking parties from parties and all sorts of other ways to book parties because let's talk parties. So um, when March 17th happened, that was my final day to do an in-home party. And on March the 18th, I woke up and I had 27 parties cancel in two hours, okay? So in a matter of two hours, 27 parties canceled. I was just like so excited, you guys. 
the 17th rolled around. I had already done parties and then I had booked up and I had decided that, you know what, I'm going to stack my calendar, screw this six to eight parties a month. I'm just going to go all out. And so I stacked my calendar really, really jam packed. And then all of a sudden March 18th happened and I was like, oh, so I had two hours of a freak out. I talked to my mom. She says, you have 15 minutes to cry. And then you're going to do what you do best and go into action. She's like, you have every tool available. You know how to do this. And she's like, you're going to get creative. You're going to get to work and you're going to stop crying. You get 15 minutes, cry it out, say whatever you want to say, do whatever you want to do for 15 minutes. And then you're done and go into execution mode. And so I was like, okay. And so my mom and I started brainstorming. We we're just throwing ideas back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she was like, you know what, what works for you? What has always worked for you? And I'm like, I'm freaking hilarious. Like I'm funny as shit. And I'm very, very like everything. I'm a nerd. So my nerd works for me, right? I'm very technical, but still goofy. And she's like, use that. She's like, get in their face, get in their face as often as you can. So I was like, all right. So I immediately started reaching out to my hostesses that canceled. And I told them, here's the situation. Um, before we got off the phone, I offered them a virtual party date and then to book their party for when all this is over with. So not only was I booking a virtual, hey, let's get this done right now because I've got bills to pay, but I wanted their party in homes when I was ready to go back in homes. And my mom told me, Monique, I'm just going to be honest and upfront with you. You're not going to be in people's homes till June. And that's what she told me from March the 18th. And so I was like, fine. So my game plan was I needed to book everything and stack everything immediately and then start right then and there booking my June for in home. And so um, one of the ways that I did it, the second that my hostess was like, hey, I'm going to cancel because I'm scared. Um, I was like, you know what? I can totally respect how you're feeling right now. It's very uncertain. Um, here's one thing I just want to offer you. I just love hanging out with you. I'd love to offer you a virtual opportunity because I'm going to try some new things. And I was wondering if you would help me out with what I'm trying out. I'm testing a few things. I just want to see if you could go ahead and just pop on with three of your closest friends and we can check out, you can help me work out all the kinks and everything. And we can have some laughs. I'll show you some products. If your friends shop, I'll hook you up with some free stuff. And they were like, okay, yeah, I can totally do that. And then I was like, but I also want to come in home. And when all of this is done, I want to come to your house in June. So we're just going to take your in home party, move it to June. And we are going to do your virtual party right now so I can test out some things so I can get prepared to start transitioning to a more virtual world. And everybody was really, really nice. And I think one of the things that really worked was I ended up booking 42 parties, by the way, I lost 27 and booked 42. Okay. So it was, I booked a virtual and then I booked an in-home. And then there were some girls who were like, no, no, I'll just wait till September. I'm like, totally cool. Let's put it right then and there because I want to be on their mind. I want to have the date booked and I want to have their information in their hands, right? And so even if you are brand new and you're like, I don't have a clientele basis, here is what I recommend to you, okay? One thing I recommend is reaching out. I have all my team reach out in this manner and I would highly recommend it. It works really, really well for our team. And um, I mean, girls straight out of the gate are coming in and having stacked calendars. Uh, so. One of the things is all of my team, the second that they sign up, before I even welcome them to the team, let's just get real. 55% uh, of people come in for money, okay? And 45% come in for connection. So before I even welcome them, I'm like, hey, cool, congratulations. And then I'm like, okay, here's what you're going to copy and paste and you're going to send out immediately. So the first message that they send out before I even send them information to start working their business is literally something for them to copy and paste. The first message is I just have them copy and paste this message. And it's the gist is, Hey, Sarah, um, I just started my pure romance business and I was wondering if you could do me a favor and check 
out my website and make sure that my website is functioning properly? Can you click on all the categories, make sure everything's opening up, make sure you can see everything, um, add some items to your cart, make sure my cart is working. And then if anything piques your interest, go ahead and shoot me a message. Let me know. You can go ahead and order them or you can order straight off my website and share me with your friends. But please, I just need um, to make sure everything's functioning properly before I send it out to my other clients and friends. And then here's what's happening. So it takes the pressure off. Okay. And you're like, how does this dive into parties? You're going to see how this flows into parties. So one of the things is you're not asking for an order, right? You're kind of going around it and still making money. So what's happening is people like to find something wrong with stuff. Okay, that's just the nature. You're asking them to check to make sure everything is functioning properly. And what are they gonna do? They're literally gonna click on every single category to see if something doesn't work. Because they wanna come back to you and tell you, hey, that didn't work, right? Okay, but in the meantime, sorry, Siri is like being nosy. Hey Siri, turn off. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, so anyway, so what's happening is they're going through and they're peeking and checking out things. Something's gonna pique their interest and then what is gonna happen after that is they want to go ahead and maybe ask some questions. And at that moment, you can say, you know what? If they message you back like, hey girl, I saw this, this kind of piques my interest. What is this coachy stuff? Um, at that moment, say, you know what? I would love to get that in your hands for free that's when you get the party, okay? So I would love to get that in your hands for free. Um, could you get like three to five of your closest girlfriends together uh, this week on Wednesday uh, for 30 minutes to one hour? We can have some chat time. I can show you a few of the products. I can talk about a few of the products and get you that coochie for free. At that moment, you book the party, right? Because now she wants the coochie for free because she's like, well, that sounded cool. I want to check that out. And now I'm going to get it for free. Holy moly. I could totally get three to five girls together. So then you get the girls and you have that party, right? And then, oh my gosh, then you pay, you play pass or play. And we're going to do that in a minute. Okay. But the next message is you can also message people another message. Um, if people have not responded to helping you check out to make sure everything is functioning properly on your website, you can go ahead and follow up in a few days and just be like, hey, girly, um, I don't know if you saw my message about my website. So I've got that all checked out and everything seems to be functioning properly. Um, I would like to uh, book three big parties and three small parties. Um, and just to kind of test out this whole virtual world, see how this business works, see how I get paid because I heard I get paid out weekly. So I was just wondering if you could fit in and be one of my big parties or one of my small parties out of these six parties that I need to hold within the next week. Okay. So then what's happening is then now um, you're saying I have three big parties that I need to book and three small parties that I need to book. And at that moment, most are going to jump on for a small party. Okay. Some will be like, oh, I have so many friends. I'm going to get a big party. But honestly, you're probably going to end up with six small parties and that's okay because now you're in front of people. Now you're booking parties from parties. Okay. So then that's a whole other ball game. So at that moment, that's when you pull out pass or play. And I will tell you, I've been with Pure Romance for nine and a half years and I have played pass or play for nine and a half years. Okay, so I've tried a few other games, sprinkled them in here or there. I give them six solid tries and then I'm like, mm, out the door because nothing ever, I mean, the late game was kind of cool for a while, maybe in year one and two. And then after that, it was like, mm, nobody wanted those itchy lays on them anymore. But guess what they wanted to do? They've always wanted to play, pass or play. Now here's how this goes and y'all are gonna get to play with me, okay? And it's a ton of fun and it goes very fast and this is actually how I play in my virtual parties. This is how I play in my party settings. And the reason you wanna keep it fast is because people will say yes quicker, okay? But if you're slow, 
then people get bored and they forget what they're doing. Um, so here's how you play. So ladies, we're gonna play a little game. It's called Pass or Play. It's a ton of fun. You saw a lot of amazing, incredible items tonight. And I just wanna thank our hostess, Mel, again, for having us here and everything. And here's the deal. If I book three to six parties, and y'all keep your originally scheduled date, Mel, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and hook you up with some added party credits. I'm gonna add $200 added party sales to your party tonight, okay? So ladies, what $200 in product party sales means is at 10%, that's $20 off of her order, okay? That's like a coochie, a coochie's 22, okay? So Mel, if three to six of your friends keep their originally held party date, I'm going to hook you up with an additional $200 in party sales tonight, okay? So I'm super excited. I just want to spoil you and hook you up with tons of free stuff. And ladies, if y'all had a great time, I want to spoil you with free stuff too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play pass or play. So you're going to have an opportunity to say pass or play. So what does that entail? If you choose to play, that means that you want to reach into my little bag virtually and pull out a free gift that you will be receiving the night of your health party, okay? But you'll be receiving it in a full size. Now, if you choose to play, that just means that you love to pay full price all the time. I'll be your consultant for life, and I don't have a problem with that. And I will totally take all of your orders. I am so good. This will be one relationship you never think about cheating on, okay? So I will be your consultant for life. If you choose to pass, that just means you want to pay full price. And that is A-OK. -okay. You can always share me with your friends and get referral credits at that point. But if you choose to play, you get hooked up with free stuff, and the night of your party, the more your friends shop, the more you get for free. So you're going to get 10% of all guest sales. What does that break down to? You have a $3,000 party. 10% of that is $300 off of your order. And you're also going to get a free gift for any party of $150 or more. You guys, I hook it up. Okay. So let's get ready and unmute when I call your name. Okay. And then tell me if you're going to choose to pass or you're gonna to choose to play. And then you get to reach in virtually to my little gift bag, and then I'll tell you what you're gonna get full size. Okay, so Janet, you are first up to pass or play, honey. Would you like to pass or play? Let's see. Go ahead and unmute, Janet. Let's see. Janet, I think, there you go. Go for it, girl. Play. Play, yes, you're so smart. You love free stuff. Okay, let's see, girlfriend. Let's see what's in here. I got a lot of goodies in here. Let me just check it out. Okay, so the first one. All right, let's check out what's in my first little bag, Janet, okay? Oh, oh girl, you are gonna get a full-sized O, okay? This is an enhancement cream and it has triplex tingle. Oh my goodness, you may say your name backwards, okay? So definitely what you're gonna do, Janet, in a minute when we schedule your shopping call, you are going to go ahead and write down on your notes, oh, okay? And that's what you're gonna get for free when we book your party and hold it, okay? And I'm gonna give you my available dates for your party within the next 12 days, so be thinking about that hot date, all right? Thank you so much, Janet. I will talk to you in a few minutes on your shopping call. Okay, Darlene, I need you and Miss San Francisco to go ahead and um, unmute yourself, honey, and go ahead and tell me, would you like to pass or would you like to play? I want to play. Heck yeah, you're so smart too, girlfriend. Let's see. I've got so many gifts in here, you guys. I can go around. I get around. Okay, this next gift, let's check it out. Oh, 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 girl, guess what? Oh my goodness, okay, so this one, you are gonna get a little enhancement item and it is called the Enhancement Gel. That's that one I told you about, it's one of my number one sellers. Oh yeah, just a speck will do, just a speck will do, just a speck will do. You're gonna get this for free, honey, on your held party. So definitely write down Enhancement Gel. And when I have your shopping call in just a minute, we're going to go ahead and schedule your date. We're going to schedule it within the next 12 days. And I'm going to hook you up with a full-size bottle of that, okay? Can't wait. Thank you. you, Thank you. All right, Laura, talk to me. Are you going to pass or play, honey? Going to play. Yes, girl. Oh, my goodness. Mel, Mel, 
it is happening. It is so on. Your friends are awesome. They mega rock. Okay, so you're gonna play. Let's check it out, Laura. Oh girl, you got some sensations. This is a warming lubricant. Oh my goodness. You just rub, you blow, and walk away. Just kidding, you can lick it on up. It's so good, it's so sweet, it tastes yummy. Okay, so definitely, Laura, write this down. And when I do your shopping call in just a minute, we're gonna pick your party date within the next 12 days and you'll get a full size bottle of this with your order the night of your health party, okay? I can't wait to chat with you. I will be talking to you very quickly, okay? Next up, Anna, I see your cute braids over there, girl. So cute, honey. Are you going to pass or play? I mean, Mel, play. that's so exciting. You're going to play? Play. Play. Oh, so smart. Mel, you've got the best friends ever. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see where you got. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, you've got the lavender and chamomile massage lotion, girl. You're going to get a full-size bottle of that lavender and chamomile massage lotion. OMG, remember, it is so amazing for massage. Oh, you're gonna love that. Okay, when I call you for your shopping call in a minute, write down that you want that you are getting that lavender and chamomile massage lotion. And when we schedule your party in the next 12 days, you are gonna get that for free on your held party with your order. I'm so excited, girl. I can't wait to talk to you in a few minutes. All right, let's see. I got Oh, I still got a lot of uh, a lot of gifts in here in this little bag. Kimberly, talk to me, honey. What are we doing? Are you gonna pass or play? We are going to play. Heck yeah! Oh my oh. goodness, Mel. Oh my goodness, oh. girl. It's gonna be a good, good night. Oh, you, you got the coochie. So you got our raspberry shave cream. You're getting coochie, a full size bottle. Okay. Oh, and me. Write down coochie, Kimberly, and when we have your shopping oh call in a minute, you're going to get that for free on the night of your health oh party baby. with your order. Okay, girl? Mind your ooh, ooh, coochie, coochie. Oh, heck yeah. Once you go coochie, you'll never go back. All right, let's go ahead and keep playing. Mel, you are getting so hooked up. I'm so excited. Okay, Hannah, talk to me, girlfriend. I love your background. Love Rose Gold. Talk to me. I'm going to play. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I could tell in your eyes. I saw it right when I logged on tonight. I was like, oh, Hannah is playing tonight. Okay, so Hannah, let's check out what you're going to get for free on the night of your health party with your order. Ooh, you're going to get some whipped. It's that yes. creamy kiss lubricant um, because nobody goes to the ice cream shop and asks for penis flavor. So, yep, you got that, girlfriend. Write that down. And when I call you for your shopping call, we're definitely going to make sure that you pick your date so you can get a full-size bottle of that. Okay, Val. Val, you're going to tell me no, okay? All right. So, Val, are you going to pass or play? Pass. Oh, Val, girl, you're breaking my heart. Okay, Val, I totally get it. You love to pay full price, and I'm totally cool with that. Whenever the time is right for you, honey, we will totally play. Um, when we have your shopping call in a minute, um, you may change your mind. So just be ready with a date within the next 12 days. Just in case, just in case, okay, Val? I'll talk to you shortly, honey. Thank you so much for attending tonight. I appreciate you. All right, let's see. Lumi, talk to me, talk to me. What's up? Are you going to pass or play? I hope I said that right. All right. Pass or play. You have to unmute. Oh, no. Hello. Lumi, you still there? Okay, we'll come back. Okay, Tessa, talk to me, Miss Tessa. Can you Make unmute you and let me know if you're going to pass or play? Pass. Okay, girlfriend. In a minute, we're going to have your shopping call. And thank you so much for attending tonight. And you can definitely pay full price anytime. And if you ever want something free from me, girlfriend, remember, I'm going to be your consultant for life. You can always book a party with me. All right, Cindy, talk to me. Are you going to pass or play? I will play. Heck yeah, Cindy. I love your face mask. Go glitter and sparkly. My team is called the Pink Sparkler. All right. Let's see what you're getting. Oh, I want oh, 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 ooh, you got the afterglow, girlfriend. This is a shimmery serum, and it is pheromone infused. It smells like that flirt perfume that's grapefruit, lemon, and jasmine infused. Oh, my goodness. Write that down. When we have your shopping call in a minute, we're going to book your party date so you can get that full-size bottle with your party. 
okay, on your order. So thank you so much. Oh, love the thumbs up, girlfriend. All right, so did y'all see how pass or play really, really just helps? Like you feel like you cannot say no. I know Tessa really, she just came on there strong. She's like, no. And I was like, girl, you're hurting me, okay? But what happens after that point is all you have to do when you get on that shopping call is just say, you know what, I Tessa, I really had a good time tonight. I hope you had a good time. And I would love to spoil you with some of these items off your wish list for free. Is there anything in particular that you just absolutely fell in love with and that you would like to get for free? And we can go ahead and even book your party um, in the next three days. So you, that way you can get it shipped out and in your hands quicker. And usually at that point, they want a book. And my parties that have been virtual have been having like three to six people. I think my biggest one was like 10. Um, but I am doing just one individual hostess. I know some people are doing multiple hostesses and having a lot of people. I personally really thrive on that one-on-one -on -one connection so that way I can go ahead and upsell, 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 and everything and then cross sell and then get them to get everything on their wish list but um i i do know that what's happened with me is all the parties that i have had uh virtually um i have had 95 percent of them rebook that they want a party like the girls who are on there if there are three girls on there Usually I'm booking three parties. If there are six girls on there, I'm booking five parties. If they're, you know, so it's just really jiving. It's just going really, really well. And um, you could see, cause when your name is called and you get unmuted, like you feel that pressure and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to be the odd man out. I, I want to do it too. This is fun. It's fast. It's cool. So um, does anybody have any questions so far about pass or play? Like, how do you feel about that? Do y'all feel it's golden? Okay. So I have a question. Yeah, I go for it, Renee. Talk to me. Hey, that's my middle name, but mine's spelled R-E-N-E -E with a little apostrophe. Go for it. Talk to me. So is mine, but I just don't do that because you can't. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sorry, Gladys. I didn't mean to jump on you there. <laughs> um, so what if you don't have the samples? Just I mean, how do you? All you have to do is just go ahead and get a little piece of paper and write um, the product on there, or you can cut it out from the catalog. That's what I used to do when I didn't have samples of certain things. I would cut them out of the catalog and I would put them in my little bags and just do it that way. I still do that sometimes. Like if you notice one of these was Boost and I just changed it to whatever I wanted to give away. So this was boost. It's just something to pull out. And I just kept it turned this way. So I could go ahead and say whatever I wanted to give her. And that's why I had them write down the name of the product. Because then that way, when they call me, when we do our shopping call, they can just go ahead and tell me what I'm giving them. Because I, I do keep a little notepad right next to it with everybody's name and I write it down. But just in case, because I'm like, this is not the GPS G-spot cream. And maybe that's what I told her. So that's what you can do. You can cut them out of the catalog. You can just write okay. on a piece of paper. Um, a little, you could do like note cards or a business card and write down a product on the back of it or whatever you want to do. But it's super easy. You don't have to make it complicated. It doesn't even have to be bags. It could be a little bowl and like little eggs or whatever you want to do. Okay. Monique, where did you get who I can't tell who's talking. Where did you get your bags at? Girl, I've been a consultant nine and a half years. These were back in the day. You notice this, like these were way back in the day. Um, they used to be in our business supplies. We haven't had them in a long time, but some of the bags are just black, just blank ones. And that's what I tell my team. I'm like, you don't have to worry about the bags or anything like that. Um, and some of my girls will go in on Amazon and get like a hundred little black bags and then they'll split them up and divvy them up amongst their team. So like when the leader will buy a, a pack of a hundred and then they divvy them up 10 amongst each team member like that. So it's really inexpensive or some of Thanks. my girls, 
yeah, you're very welcome. Some of my girls give them out as an incentive to their team members. Like, hey, sign up and place your IAP order and a $200 order, and I'll give you your pass or play. And my leaders will order them little bags from Amazon, send them 10 plus a toy tote and plus little cutouts of products and send them to their girls as an incentive. That's what they've been doing lately. That way it's really light and expensive to ship and it's something useful for them and it's something that I teach constantly for nine and a half years pass or play. And then who else? Gladys? Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Um, for the ladies that are like a very, very strict to like Facebook Live, would you still, with the girls that are on live that you see that are still on live, would you call them out to like, hey, so-and-so, yeah. do you want to pass or play? Yeah, definitely. And you can go ahead and um, with Zoom to Facebook Live, you can see both. Um, and so then that way you can go ahead. Um, when I do that, I like to have out my phone, which I don't even know. I had my phone right here, but now it's, it apparently got eaten by my papers. Um, oh, here it is. So... I like to have it streaming on my phone so I can look at all the comments on Facebook Live and then I'll hit them up and I'm like, okay, I know it's a little bit delayed on Facebook Live. Can you let me know, um, Sarah, in the comments if you want to pass or play? And then I just do it that way. Um, because I have a hard time seeing Facebook Live and Zoom at the same time and all the chats that are going on. So I like to have it on a separate device. But yeah, totally. Anybody else have a question about There was a couple of questions in the chat. Perfect. Okay. Let me see the chat. All right. I will pull that up. Okay. Oh, okay. So some of those are private. Okay. Hold on. Um, if everyone says no, how would you wrap it up at the end? Not that it seems to happen to you, but for someone who is new or might not Okay, so one of the ways if everybody says no, I just say, don't worry, we're going to have a shopping call in just a minute, and I'm going to be calling Lumi first, Brittany second, Kimberly third, Tessa fourth, Jody fifth, and so on and so on, and Mel, you'll get called last, and then at that moment, um, I just go ahead and ask them at that time, maybe they are just like really quiet, and they were kind of, they have questions like, how does the party work? Like, does it cost money? Do I have to order? Like those sort of things. And usually I can go ahead and overcome those objections when I get them on their call privately and just, you know, talk it out. A lot of times women don't even know or understand that it is free. And that might be what's holding them back. A lot of times they think that even though it's virtual that they have to kick everybody out. And I'm like, no, all you need is headphones. Literally all you need is headphones. You can be in any room in your house. I don't care who's there. As long as you have headphones and, you know, um, they're not sitting there watching with you, then I don't care where you're sitting. You can be sitting, they can be next to you farting. I don't really care. But um, as long as you have your headphones in and I'm communicating with you and I don't know any different, like what's going on out around you, that's up to you. So that might be what's holding them back. And you can overcome that objection right then and there. And um, let's see, do you actually give them the foil package? You, I keep them and reuse them. Some of these foil packets are um, really old. Um, so I keep them and reuse them for every party. And I fill them up as soon as I'm done. I just put them straight back in the little bag. I cinch up the bag and throw it back in the toy tote. Okay, another game that I do play, and this is also like not only, and you'll see on my Facebook, I do this a lot. Like I, you can always follow me by the way. Um, just don't friend request me, but you can always follow me and whatever. But I do this a lot. I post on my Facebook and I'm like, and um, these are just old opportun um, old hostess brochures. And they can just, tell me they want to pick one and I just ask which one is it the one by my nose or is it the one by my eye or you know whatever and then they circle they screenshot and circle which one they want to pick and then I'm like okay and then I scratch it and I'm like oh my god you have $50 off of a toy or you get a free coochie the night of your party 
Um, so that's another way I do this one to book parties outside of parties where they just might be on my Facebook and I'm like, who's, who wants free stuff? I've got 10 free gifts to give away. Who wants one? Take a little card and I will scratch it and send it to you. And I like to do little stupid videos where I'm like scratching it and then I send it to them and I'm like, that's what you got. And it's like $50 off of your $150 order or whatever the case may be. So I don't know, like I write up hundreds of these at a time. So I don't even know what half of these stay. And I'm just like, I'm good with it because it's a party and chances are you're going to get to meet somebody and you never know when that party's going to turn into something even bigger for you and your family and your business. So hopefully that helps too and answers that question. All right, who has the next one? Anybody else? Anybody? All right, let me make sure I checked my notes. Oh, my next note um, was we had a promotion a while back with corporate and um, parties held till like September 29th. They could get coochie for life. But one thing that always, 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 when you have like a drought in your party schedule and it happens to all of us even if we've been in business a long time and we run a very successful business i mean we can get a little lazy drop the ball here or there and then all of a sudden you're like whoa what happened to all these parties so um something when that happens when you find that you have a drought or a gap in your calendar i highly recommend that you post something about getting coochie for a year for free which breaks down to three to four bottles, just really depending on if you want to break it down to three bottles or four bottles. Um, so it, it's just entirely up to you, but coochie for free for a year. And remember they're 22. And if you're buying in a six pack, you guys, it's like 108 and then minus your discount, like you get them for peanuts, right? So sometimes it's even like buying buying two and you get four for free if you got it on a sale day. So um, I highly recommend doing the post if you want to get, who wants to get coochie for the year for free? And, you know, holding up four bottles of coochie or whatever. And you could just hold them up and just be like, who wants to get a coochie for free for the whole year? And then people will comment and then you follow up with them. You book the date. And I mean, chances are you're going to get to book more parties from that party. So you're going to get something. Yes. Go for it, it, anyone who books or do they have to have a party at a certain level or just anyone who puts a comment and books a date? They have to hold the party and they have to have people shop. Yeah. Or so it's, you know, like to the party, like it has to be 300 or more or 500 or more or a thousand. I will tell you that not once have I ever, 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 ever given a minimum. Okay. And you will be surprised what people will do when you don't give them a minimum. <laughs> because I, I want you to understand my line of thinking, and this could be totally wrong for other people, and y'all can totally fight back on that. But um, here's my line of thinking, that when I give somebody a minimum, that's all they're gonna do, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you just let people do what people do, they're going to surprise you, okay? And they are gonna think that they have to do more because they're gonna be like, oh my God, my friends didn't show up and now I need to shop more and now I need to do this and oh, it's only three of us, I need, and then you'll find that your orders might be 350 per person just because they only saw three people on there and they're like, this girl's got to pay her bills and like she, she showed up tonight and she was funny and like all that kind of stuff. But if you say a minimum, then the hostess is not um, going to really work. She's just going to be like, oh, I could do 100 easily um, even if nobody shows up, you know, kind of thing. And you never know what somebody's willing to do. And I've always said that if you build the want, the need, the desire, show people the benefit and help them visualize themselves using the products, then they will come up with the money no matter what. So, um, I, I don't put minimums, but I know some people like, I know corporate jumped up the minimum for a party to get a free gift to $250 or more. 
And, um, and here's one thing I will tell you that if that was the case, like say for example, I had a $200, a $200 party and I was an asshole and I was just like, I'm not going to give you a gift because the party wasn't $250. Guess what's going to happen? You know that that word is going to spread faster to all those people that she talks to than it is if you go ahead and just give her a gift. Because think about when you have a perfect restaurant experience, you may not tell anybody, you just might keep going back and going back and going back and eating there all the time, once a week, you love it so much. And you just like, your family knows you love it, but guess what? The second you have a terrible experience, you tell the whole world, you were like, oh my God, like their restroom was dirty, their kitchen was dirty, had the worst service, like don't go there. So you want to think about it in that manner too, that if you always hook them up, they're always going to refer you. And just because it might be a low party one day, it doesn't mean that the next time it's going to, not going to be great. And um, I always tell this story. Um, let me see. I always tell this one story that, hold on, I'm trying to read the chat. Okay. Um, so when I came in, I did not have anybody show me anything. The person who signed me up gave me one piece of paper and it said, hi, my name is such and such. I've been in business for 12 years. I have four kids. Um, I, you know, blah, 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 blah. I've been married X amount of years and welcome to the team. And that's literally all I got. One piece of paper and one little heart lapel. And that's literally at all I ever got like didn't get how to log into the system didn't like how to do a party I'd never even been to a pure romance party before I became a consultant and here's why I tell you this because um I didn't know what to give as a hostess gift I just knew it had to be a pure romance product because I read the IRG and if you followed me at all you know I read everything and so I read the IRG all that kind of stuff but I just knew it needed to be a pure romance product and a gift. And so I didn't know what to give, but at the time I was poor. And so I was just trying to figure it out. And so I loved the hot heart massager. Um, and so I thought everybody needed a hot heart massager. And that's what I gave as my hostess gift until one lady like literally threw it back at me and told me off. And I was like, I don't know what I did wrong. And then I asked her, I said, I am so sorry. Like, Apparently I upset you and your feelings are very validated, but can you give me feedback? So I never have to, you know, make anybody else feel like this. What did I do wrong? And she said, I effing cleaned my house. I effing kicked out my kids and my husband and sent them to go get food. And I got my girlfriends here and you made great money. And I got a freaking hot heart massager that was $16. At that time, I was 16. And I was like, but I knew that I was paying like a lot of money for it. I knew I was paying $9 for that hot heart massager. And I was like, that's a lot of money out of my pocket. I'm broken poor. And so she told me that she could have just ordered a hot heart massager and been done with it. Instead, she you know, had to pay for a $70 meal for her family to go out. And so it made sense. I came home. I was really upset about it. I told her, give me a few days to process this because I understand what you're saying and I will make it right. And so what I did was I made it right for every single hostess for that whole year, my first year in business. I contacted every hostess. I think them. And I said, I'm going to be sending you a gift in the mail just for being one of my first hostesses ever in my business. And I want you to know that I'm going to be here forever. And um, at that time, we had a little toy called the G unit. It was really little and it was a $99 value and they had marked them down to like $14. So I was getting them for like seven bucks. Okay. And um, so guess what? The hot heart massager was costing me eight to nine bucks. But this G unit that they had marked down was $99 value. And I was getting it for seven bucks, right? So I ordered up as many as I could order. And I shipped every single hostess one of those items and thank them so much, sent them a card. And I sent that lady back. I said, thank you for making me better. I hope that you can uh, accept this 
with my sincerest apologies, but you have made a difference in someone's life. And so um, guess what happened? They all rebooked. Every single one of those hostesses rebooked. They all thanked me for the extra gift and they didn't know that I paid seven bucks for it. They saw a $99 price tag on it. Okay. So when you're giving out hostess gifts, if maybe it's a lower party that you think doesn't meet your requirements, that's when you pull out things that you got really deeply discounted. That's when you pull out things that you got in six packs on a sale day and that sort of thing. So you still make them feel special. Not one of my hostesses since that day has ever gotten anything lower than a $99 value gift as their hostess gift. I don't care what size of party it is they they get that but I'm smart about it I make sure that it has that $99 value but I make sure I'm getting it for peanuts because they'll remember that and they'll always rebook with me so I hope that helps and that's just like my personal stance and you can have your own because it's your business that's the magic all right anybody else have a question no okay well i hope to see all of y'all booking tons and tons of parties before i let y'all go i'm gonna just check y'all's facebook team uh page and just make sure nobody put in there a question okay okay perfect all righty so thank you guys so much for your time i do appreciate you all ladies let me just make sure one more time and yep Thank you so much, ringleaders. I appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have you. nothing but great success. And keep me posted on how many parties y'all book after tonight. Okay, guys? Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks, Monique. You're welcome. Have a good one.